let's say there is a payable invoice which is already paid okay so i've opened the invoice i'm going to the payments tab and you can see that the invoice is already paid okay there is a payment which is already applied to that invoice now let's say that we need to cancel that invoice and cancel the payment how do you do that okay so for that first we need to go to the payments so let's go and uh, query the payments so many time you know when the business is working post production they sometimes make wrong payments and things like that or maybe uh, an integration might have done the wrong thing so there are situations when you might have to uh, make uh, make cancellations in such cases okay so most of the trainings people talk about the happy path scenario but there is a lot of unhappy path which happens many a times so we need to be prepared for that okay so what was the payment number was 4038 right so let's go to payment manage payment we'll say 4038 okay we query the payment okay so one thing is please note the status of the payment negotiable okay and also look at that that's over here that's important and i'll come to that click on this one payment number you see here there are payment details history and everything you go to the actions so there are different options you have you have a void option you have an initiate stop option you have a reissue option so let's click on this void so you are basically voiding the payment okay before i do that let's go back to the invoice and let's check this part also so invoice statements and validated funds and inquiries and this is accounted okay and this is in the payments paid status now let's come here and we can say void when you void it it's basically going to ask me a question what am i supposed to do into the invoice see it says that it gives me three options do you want to cancel the invoice let's say the invoice was created by mistake okay then you have the option of cancelling the invoice you can just leave it as none no action need to be taken or you want to place and hold on the invoice whatever the business decides right you can do that okay so let's say we click on cancel the invoice and then click on submit so first is the payment gets void remember the status of the payment is going to be voided and then let's if you cancel the invoices if the totally the invoice itself was wrong but let's say you want to apply a different payment you don't need to cancel that you just leave as no action and then you can apply a different payment to that so let's wait for this thing to happen okay it says payment has been voided number of in invoices cancelled is one okay so this this particular payment status has been voided okay click on done and obviously you can you can also account it let's go back and do a post to ledger because there is an activity which has happened on this invoice so it has to be reaccounted so that happens you can do that so let's wait for the accounting to complete it's taking a while but you know it has to get done let's wait for a second or let me put it on pause till it gets completed okay so the the accounting got completed let's go to view accounting okay so you can see payment originally was created on 14th of january and today i basically cancelled that payment so correspondingly the accounting has been done okay so for every activity obviously you need to make sure that's getting accounted now let's go and query this invoice again iv in vad001 because it won't show me like that in vad001 in search okay so now you can see the status is cancelled previously it was validated you can go back to the recording and then again you know you can post to ledger so whatever the cancellation has to be done that has been done you can see the status of the payment is showing as voided here also let's click on view accounting oh a lot of activity on that invoice but you can see the cancellation has happened today a lot of activity okay whatever has been done on that invoice everything has been reversed there is one more thing which i want to point out let's go back to the payment okay let's click that payment voided i want to see the reconciliation status payment details conversion another let's let me go back oh yeah here it is so see reconciled is no see this process happens when the payment status i mean this system allows you to void the payment when the reconciliation status is no now if the reconciliation status is yes there is a different way to do that and we'll see that in future sessions future videos but this one i just wanted to quickly show you that this is one way to void a payment see you never cancel a payment you void a payment that gives you the option to cancel an invoice so cancelling of an invoice and voiding of an payment please remember that okay thanks a lot i'll talk to you in the next session bye